What's up everyone? This is Blessed Beats for Soundation. Today I'm going to show you how to use Ableton Live in tandem with Soundation. Soundation is one of the best collaboration tools for working in the same environment, arranging and building on a track. And it's not uncommon for you to want to use your favorite DAW alongside of it. So I'm going to show you how to move files from Ableton Live into Soundation with both audio and MIDI. You can see I have a track loaded up here and the first thing I want to do is set the BPM and Soundation to the same one as that in Ableton Live. So we are at 65 BPM. I'm going to go in here and change the tempo to 65 just to make sure everything lines up right. Now the first method is dragging and dropping audio. This is pretty much as straightforward as you can get. I want to pull a hi-hat pattern from in here into Soundation. Listening to this, this loop is identical. So I just really need just one bar of this. So a bonus tip here, if you want to both save some memory and keep it more tidy, click and drag in the middle of the track here, mark that selection and press Control E or Command E if you're a Mac user, that will split it up. Now press the top of the clip and drag it and drop it into Soundation. And there you have it. It's locked and loaded on time. Now to duplicate this, I can hold down Alt and pull it and it'll snap onto the grid nicely. A little side note here, sometimes Ableton Live can lock your audio clips, making you unable to drag and drop them into Soundation. In that case, the solution for that is to either restart your Ableton Live software or use the export method that I'm showing you in a minute. Let's move on to MIDI here. Say I wanted to lift these four bars of MIDI into Soundation. One thing you need to think about is that there might be MIDI information before here. So as you export it, even though your clip is just this length, four bars, it will export it with this information too. Something you can do to prevent that is to consolidate this clip. You can do that by pressing Control J or Command J if you're on Mac or right clicking it and pressing consolidate. That will make sure that we have no additional MIDI information to the left or the right of this clip here. Then all we need to do is right click it, press export MIDI clip, or take note of the shortcut here, the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift E, Command Shift E if you're on Mac. I'll creatively name it Ableton Export, save it, locate my folder, and now all I need to do is drag it and drop it. And there I have it's my two bar loop part of my miscalculation. Now I can begin to assign any sound in the wide array of instruments we have in the Soundation Studio. For the last method, we're going to imagine a different scenario. Let's imagine I made this full track here, but I want my buddy to come in and lay down some extra tracks on that. Here's a tip. In a scenario like this, I would probably not export every single track, but rather the stems. And it seems like the interpretation of what stems means seems to vary a little bit, but essentially what it is, it is groupings of tracks. And if that grouping happens to be every single individual track, you can still call that stems. But the way I see it, you will organize it in a way that's efficient to you. So for example, take note of my drum tracks here. They are all underneath a group here. And this is going to be my drums stem. There are several things you might take into account, but mainly you want to think about what sounds do I really need to be able to separate later on as I've exported the tracks. I'm going to divide my stems into drums, bass, synth sounds and effects. And I can do that by grouping these sounds here, my keyboard sounds here. If I hold down shift, I can select all of these tracks all together and press Control G, Command G for Mac. Then I'm gonna press Control R to rename this group into synths. My 808 can be called a 808. That's just one track, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I will collapse this drums group and I will select my five effects tracks here and do the same thing with them. Group them up, rename them with Control R, call it effects. Now make sure your loop region up here is set to the exact length that you want to export. Mark these tracks and take note now, when I expand one of these groups, the individual tracks are actually not selected, but just the group. That means we're gonna export one stereo track for each group here. Press File, Export Audio Video, 
And there's really only a few things you need to keep track of here. This will initially be set to master. Change that to selected tracks only. Make sure normalize is off because you might end up with a mess on your hands if you normalize every single track. We want this box here checked, encode PCM. Make sure it's wave format and 16-bit will do. 24 will also work, but 16, that is CD quality. For those who were around in those times, now we'll just hit export. And we can leave the project name here. It's actually going to add the name of each track after this. So hit save, wait for it, drag the tracks in there. Now we're good to go. All I need to do is hit collaborate, copy the link, send it over to my buddy, and he can add some magic sparkle on that. I hope you learned something today. Make sure to read the blog article, A Guide to cross All Collaboration, for more tips on this. And stay tuned for the next video where we will do the same thing, but with FL Studio instead. Okay, bye.